This is a DIY project on how to make a glamour ring chandelier with floral hoops. I'll be using five hoops to start. My first hoop measures seven inches. The next one is nine inches. I have a 10 inch. I have a 12 inch and a 13 inch ring. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using my drill. You can use any drill that you have. I'm starting with a smaller bit because these hoops are um, thin. So I'm starting with the smaller bit, just piercing the hole through each one, and then I'll come back with a larger bit. Now I'm going in with my larger drill bit, and this one is 1164, okay? And this one should give me the opening that I'm looking for without cracking my hoops. Now the next step is to sand the areas that I drilled and I'm using a 60 grit sanding block and I'm just going over those areas and I'm going around the hoops in case it's not as smooth as I want it to be. Now the next step is to spray paint my hoops and I'll be using my Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray paint. I'll spray paint them on one side then flip them and do the next side. While my floral hoops are drying I'm going to be working on this Christmas globe that I got from the Dollar Tree and this is where my light is going to be. I'm just going to pierce a hole in the lid. This is just a recycled chain that I'll be using and it's perfect for hanging my light. And I'm just using my hot glue to hold my chain on the inside. Now I'm going to be taking my rhinestone ribbon and this ribbon is three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to go right around that lid and cover it completely. Next I'll glue my push light in place and this light I have a remote for it. Um, it works with the batteries. You can use any push light that is two and a half inches or less. So we're going to just glue it in there and it's easy for when you need to change the um, batteries. You unscrew it and change your batteries. That's it. So my next step is to add some gems and I have these ice gems and I'll leave a link in the description box below for all these items that I'm using in case you'd like to find them. I'm just going to go right around my Christmas globe with my gems and I'm starting in the center. You can do it however you'd like. I'm just starting in the center. And I'm going right around with all my gems. You just need a small bead of glue for these gems. Um, the gems hold really good to the plastic so you don't need to put a lot of glue. Just gonna continue to go all the way around and it should look like this when you're done now our floral hoops are dry okay so we're just going to assemble all the pieces to hang my light on the ceiling I'm going to be using this screw anchor I think that's what it's called I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can find the exact one. So it's been a couple weeks since I made this um, chandelier. Okay, I had it up, but it didn't look right to me. So I ended up um, adding three more. That's what I'm doing right here. Adding three more floral rings so it can look fuller when I'm looking up at it. So I'm just taking my smallest ring and adding that first to the globe. And I'm just pulling my string right through. You can use any string, guys, any string that you have, a rope or anything that will fit through the floral hoops, okay? And I'm just pulling them through from the smallest to the largest. I added this size is a double size so I'll just um, place it just like so 
so they can sit on top of each other and that will work perfectly. So I have two double sizes, that one and the largest size is a double size. And this is how it looks when we're done. I hope you like this project this week. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. And if you missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Just go ahead and click that rectangular box and you can watch that one also. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.